Welcome adventurers, my name is Cody, this is Taking 20, a channel about all things role playing games. And today we're back with our 30 day D&D challenge and I am so excited! Who is your favorite character that you have ever played? And man, I've got a character for you guys. Yes, sir. Welcome, welcome. What a splendid day this is out, isn't it, Riffin? Yes, my good friend Riff, I think we should advance beyond horizons and learn and meet new and amazing, wonderful people. My favorite character of all time, he's a human bard by the name of Oliver Ridley. And I'm convinced now that Oliver is my, he's my alternate ego. Like, there is no doubt. Oliver is the person who I want to be. Oliver is a human valor bard who is exciting and wonderful and says things like bottle and little. And he is an incredible adventurer type and he just is so happy to meet everyone and oh yes, well, that's splendid. We're gonna have a great time. I love Oliver. Oliver is just, uh, oh, Oliver is me. <laughs> of course, that's silly me. Anyways, so Oliver is great, man. He is super cool. What I loved about Oliver was his personality, man. He was into it. He was, he was having a good time. He. He, he wasn't, he was like, he was like an overly friendly Don Quixote. He thought he was a paladin. He, he loved to protect children and be there for people. He had this, this serious side to him of how he felt about children and that no matter what, the children should be taken care of. No matter what, the children should be taken care of. And that was, that was something I really identify with at, on a personal level. You know, I, I try to be charitable and, and. There's no doubt that children hold a very, very soft spot in my heart when it comes to that stuff. And so he was friendly. He was likable. He he bullied people, which I kind of do at times where I kind of just bully people into doing things maybe <laughs> that are outside of their comfort zones. And so there was a lot of myself in Oliver and uh, he was just a wonderful, wonderful character to play. So the cool thing about Oliver was that Oliver was one part of the Oliver and Riff tandem. My friend Nathan played a totally different character. He played uh, a guy by the name of Riff, Riffin. Uh, he didn't like anybody calling him Riff, but of course that's all Oliver called him because Oliver just loved Riff. Riffin was shy and quiet and he was a bookkeeper at the college that Oliver went to, uh, the Bard College. And so when Oliver decided to go out and adventure, he wanted Riff to come with him because he had bonded with the kind of librarian, in essence. And so uh, Riff was not an adventurer. He was a shy, quiet book type, but Oliver wasn't having any of this. So Oliver decided to uh, slip a letter of resignation, cussing out the, the dean of the college <laughs> under his door and signed it with Riff's name and uh, yelled because he took the actor feet, yelled through the door and then ran away about how he was quitting, pretending to be Riff. And in essence, he got Riff fired so that they he would force Riffin to go adventuring with him. And I love that about Oliver. That is something that he would to that's totally right up his alley. And it, he pushed Riff to to do things beyond his uh beyond his his comfort zone. And even though Riff was quiet and shy, Oliver was just not gonna have it. He just was forcing himself <laughs> into Riff's life and they were gonna go adventuring. And so when they went adventuring, you know, it, it was, it was this great dynamic that I had where this kind of Abbott Costello. Oh, God, I don't have a younger reference for you for people that don't know who that is. Um, Google them. Anyways, they had this sort of this sort of Abbott Costello uh, feel to them where Riff was the straight man and Oliver was the kind of wacky, kooky guy. And it was super, super fun to play. It was the most fun laughing times that I had. Uh, we just we, we ate it up the whole time. Uh, one of my favorite memories of Oliver is with him arguing with Riff about uh, a dragonborn who in the game world we had, they had this different colored scales depending on their, their lineage. They didn't, they didn't all kind of look the same. And so we were bringing on this guy named Tarsus to help us on this escort mission. And uh, who's played by my buddy, Billy. And Riffin was like, it's a, it's a red dragon. Like, dude, that's, that's a red dragon. Like, dude, that's a red dragon. And Oliver was like, Oh, red, blue, black. It doesn't matter. And he's like, those are all bad colors. And just the like dynamic between these guys as, you know, they would argue with each other and no matter how mad Riff got, Oliver was just still his buddy. He was still having a great time. They were still going to go be adventurers and be heroes to people. And that I think is what made him such a good character. One thing I do love about him, about the, the children is I really played this up. I don't want to give any spoilers away for Horde of the Dragon Queen, but there is a moment towards the beginning 
where the group is headed in one direction to go stop. Uh, something is going on at, at a building. I'm trying to be vague here. Something is going on at a building that the group is like, uh, so <laughs> we're going. So we're, we're traveling down the sewer and down this kind of little ra uh, rake, this little river, uh, a, a stream really. And the town that we're in is kind of being overrun. And the group gets to a section where they see these kids and they're like, they've got one dagger and there's like a 17 year old and there's like a, like a 12 year old and 11 year old with them. And he's kind of like, he's all scared and nervous and terrified and everything. The rest of the group was like, Oh God, we gotta, you know, like, what are we, you know, we've got to go stop this thing that's going on at this building. Let's go. But Oliver was not having it. And he saw these kids and he knew that they were scared and he didn't want to leave them alone. So what he decided to do was he actually split the party. I, I split the party. I knew when I was doing it, that that was a bad idea, but I was like, no, screw that. If I came across kids, you know, in need of help, like I would do that. I think Oliver would do that. That's the kind of character he is. Like I'm, I'm helping these kids. So Oliver decides, you know what? I'm going to solo escort these kids back and then I'll, I'll sneak around and, and catch back up with you guys. You guys head on to the building. So the rest of the group continues on down the stream to the building and Oliver starts to escorting these kids back. And we were like level one at this point. Or level one or level two. I think we're level one. And so I've got like eight hit points or nine hit points. I got nothing. <laughs> I can't escort these kids. And we escort them. We get around the corner and there's three kobolds in front of us. The DM rolls us initiative. I win the initiative. And I cast sleep on all three of the kobolds. And I rolled like max on everything. And so the dungeon master, he told me after. He was like, I was planning on killing you for splitting the party. Like I was going to give you a really tough challenge. And I totally like got through it. I slept them all. The kids were stunned and scared. And, and it was just like a great moment for this character. It was a great moment for this character that I loved. And that Oliver is without a doubt my favorite character of all time. He's somebody that I definitely think I want to bring back for the next game. So let me ask you guys this. Who's your favorite character? Why? What do you like about him? Do you have a great fun story with him? Uh, or do you just like him because of the personality? Let me know in the comments below. I would... I'm kind of looking forward to seeing who your personal favorite characters are. If this is your first time here and you love role-playing games as much as I do, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'll be putting out new videos every week on DM tips, player tips, tutorials, and more. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, just hit that subscribe button down below and come join us. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cody and may your games be filled with awesome memories and even better friends. I'll catch you guys next time. Boots.